Glory to Jesus Christ. Before you start watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and be sure to comment, and don't forget to turn on the bell so you don't miss new videos. Mahindra presented five electric crossover prototypes in London. They were created on the INGLO modular platform, developed in cooperation with the Volkswagen Group concern. The Germans will supply components for it from their MEB electrical architecture. Cars can have a wheelbase from 2762 to 2775 mm, and a total length from 4370 to 4790 mm. There can be one or two motors. The drive, respectively, is rear or full. The return will be from 231 to 395 horsepower. The machines will use lithium-ion phosphate 60 and 80 kilowatt batteries. On one charge, autonomy is promised up to 450 kilometers. Suspension provided by INGLO and McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link design at the rear. The declared ground clearance for all models is 218 millimeters. The Mahindra XUV.E8 and XUV.E9 models look very similar. It seems that this is one car in the bodies of a classic crossover and a cross coupe, respectively. The impression is deceptive. The XUV.E8 is an electric version of the Mahindra XUV700 model that already exists in the manufacturer's lineup. Launching into the series is promised in 2024. The crossover has a length of 4740 mm and will offer three rows of seats. XUV.E9 is expected in the first half of 2025. The 4,790 mm coupe-like crossover will have a five-seater interior. Inside, judging by the photo, there will be a triple tablet and a touch-sensitive microclimate control unit. The second family, Mahindra B, consists of three models. They are positioned as youth cars with a sports accent. The launch will begin in October 2025 with the B.05 crossover with a length of 4,370 mm. It will be the most compactable. Its interior was also shown. There are only two screens and ecological decoration made of recycled materials. A year later, Mahindra B. 07 with a length of 4,565 mm will appear followed by another cross-coupe B.09, about which the Indians have not yet said anything. 